Hey y'all! <laughs> um, somebody requested me to do a dominant slash stubborn horse video. Um, I'm not really sure like what I'm gonna be demonstrating. I guess just the fact like how you should act with your horse. Hi sweetheart. And you know, like I guess I'm gonna be explaining pressure and pressure release and just how much pressure a horse really does need and when you should use pressure and when a horse is so-called being aggressive or disrespectful so let me do a quick run over on these horses and how they really act karma is curious she is not pushy she can at times be a little bit spooky but she's not a pushy horse to people if she does get pushy i take her by the if i had a lead rope on her i'd just have her halter on because she had a vet check today but i would yank it if she tries to get in front of me now this horse right here is the prime example of a disrespectful horse he is disrespectful in every way he gets in people's faces he nips some people he's never nipped me because i would never let him get away with it he pushes this horse and this horse pushes karma they all have different aspects and personalities and the way they treat each other now he is she's also disrespectful in some aspects but he is really the most main disrespectful one him he's my friend's horse so i'm not going to say anything mean about him but he just he does need, he lacks discipline a lot he really does he's just he's not afraid of humans karma is not afraid of humans either but he doesn't have a lack of respect for people this isn't really necessarily disrespectful but when he pushes you over runs you over he gets in your face, he constantly will follow you around, and I, I don't know, see look, he's, he, he just does that. It's like, sometimes it's not disrespectful, but when he steps on your foot, that's disrespectful. And what I'm going to do when he does something like this, you don't want to smack them in the face, you don't want to sit there and whip them with a rope, you're just going to, you know, elbow them like this, you're going to take your elbow and just elbow them back. He, if he does not release from that pressure, you're going to do it harder. And if he doesn't do it from that, you're going to do it harder. You're just going to have to work with it, what you have and your natural defenses. He doesn't know that he's being disrespectful now I'm gonna talk about little lady over here old Savannah who had that skin condition which she it's not really bad anymore she just basically looks like she shaved and I don't think it's painful she's probably actually better off without fur because she didn't get brushed so she can be um, disrespectful right now look at her she's looking at me like what are you doing woman from seeing her with karma I do know her um, pretty well with how she she is in a pasture um hi sweetie what are you doing karma just likes to you know nose me and follow but she doesn't ever push me over um savannah she's she, okay today is an example of how she was pushy i've walked her out of that gate and the gate right now is jammed on the other side so you have to push it outwards instead of inwards and normally it's an inward gate i don't know if you can see that but it's outwards now and i had to i had to let her go up the hill first and then when I came back down the hill, she pushed into me and tried to run me over. I tugged on a lead rope on her because it puts pressure on their top of their head where the bridle path is and on their nose. And that definitely helps with pushing and stuff. But then he decided to be very disrespectful and he chased her and scared Savannah. And then Savannah plunged at me and ran me against the gate not this gate but against the other one she ran me against the gate for a while until i finally like i it, that's never happened to me so what i did was i just released a ton of the rope because i hadn't even taken off her halter yet it, i just released a ton of the rope i spun her around the other direction so that her face was facing the other direction i don't know how to explain it but yeah i just turned her around so that she couldn't even push me anymore now mickey Mickey is one of those horses where you come up to the gate and he greets you first. That can be really sweet at points, and I love a horse that greets me at the gate. Karma is always the first or second. See, that was really pushy. He's trying to be pushy. She didn't need that, so he can. He's got attitude. Karma's not afraid of him either. She thinks she can be the boss of him. She's kind of just following him around, you know. She pushes him a bit though. So, what you saw right there, she was just pushing him a little bit. You didn't notice it because she didn't do anything like significant that is easy to determine she didn't pin her ears back she didn't do much besides flick her tail and push him from behind but not a lot of horse people that don't know about horses a lot would know that that is a push they push each other back and forth he pushed her and she was like all right idiot i'm gonna push you back so then she kind of ran behind his butt and then she just kind of left him alone and she's like whatever so i would say that they all have dominancy in their own ways 
all these horses. A horse that, I don't really know of a horse at this stable that's just like, la di doo da I'm not the boss, I'm low man in the pack, I don't do nothing, you can push me around all day. I don't know any horse at the stable that does that. I've had, my old horse was kind of like that, but he could be pushy in different ways. All horses can be pushy in different ways. They also can be at the same time low man in the, pa in the herd though. Um, so another thing I'm going to talk about is, hmm, I'm not really sure what I should be showing. I've never had a problem with a horse being too dominant because I'm an extremely dominant little person. <laughs> I'm only like five foot, but I really, these horses all respect me. If they do anything, I beat their butts, you know? And I don't mean literally, I don't, I've never beaten a horse, but I have smacked a horse in the face when it's necessary. What do you have in your mouth? I have smacked him in the face when he got in my face and I thought he was going to bite me. So I never did it intentionally to, you know, harm him just to defend myself and tell him, you know what, you need to back off. So, you know, doing that, I, I, don't, I don't believe in hitting a horse at all. But, but when it comes to the point where it, it can become dangerous, it, it, not like he wasn't doing this little thing where he puts his head. I was sitting there and I was turned around and he was kind of trying to reach on my side and you know, nip me. And so I kind of, he's never gotten the chance to nip me though because I did correct him. So when he does get too pushy, I correct him right away, even though he's not my horse. And I only do that when he gets in my space. I never would go after a friend's horse, especially a horse I don't know, and try to correct them. I would only do it if the horse was trying to, you know, attack me or if the horse was trying to knit me or something like that. So, yeah. Hi, baby. I don't really have anything else to talk about right now. Um... Yeah, don't stand behind a horse. That's a good, you know, reminder. And when you do have a pushy horse, like I said, my best corrector is I use the lead rope. And I will pull it like this. And then it puts, you see the pressure on her nose? She's like, what are you doing that for? And it puts pressure up there. And another thing that you can do to put pressure, like I said, is use your elbow to push them backwards and correct them. Um, if your horse is acting up and you don't have a halter, you could just grab them like this. This is a really good pressure point right here, right on her nose, the bridge of her nose. Oh, that's such a good girl. See, I don't deserve to be held right now. I'm being good. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that she, like, Karma doesn't have dominancy issues. She's being naughty. But she, trying to think. If she, when I need to correct her at times, like, okay, if she starts chewing on something in the barn, because that's one of her issues, hi, baby. If she starts chewing, she's like, leave me alone, you retard. <laughs> she's like, stop following me around. You never follow me around. If she starts to chew on something, I'll correct her by smacking her lightly. Like, I, I don't even mean, like, smacking. I mean, like, like, I'll go like that to remind her to stop on her shoulder when she's not paying attention. And then she'll kind of look at me like, what the heck? And then if she keeps doing it, it obviously means that she knows I was correcting her, but she's now testing me. So then I'll grab the lead rope and I'll pull it backwards, you know, to correct her. And I'll, you know, I'll tug on it, you know, to give them a surge of that energy and not like a full on pull, you know, if that makes any sense at all. But I don't know how to explain this stuff. I'd have to like show you in person. Now, um, one thing I do need to talk about is when a horse can be dangerous in the pasture and what they do, like it, what what is considered dangerous, you know. If a horse starts to charge at you in the pasture, that's the most disrespectful thing. You always want to have like a lead rope with you or something because that can be used as a defense method. Um, just, you know, flinging it at their face saying, Ch -ch 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 -ch, away, away, you know. Um, if a horse tries to shove past the gate, you want to make sure you correct the horse immediately. Like put your shoulder in front of it, block it push it away it's a big animal you're not gonna hurt it and also with the other day Mick tried to get out which is why I say he's disrespectful he doesn't have manners when I was trying to take Karma out it's really hard since the gate's like stuck so I can only get her through a little bit and he tried to run through the gate I had to stop him by putting the gate in front of him so that's another thing if a horse tries to get through the gate just try to put the gate in front of them or if you have to use a lead rope to kind of scare them backwards or if you have to do anything like that use loud noises bang on something be like get out get out get out get out you know what I mean so just correct them they get they get they can get spooked and they can move away from your voice because voices can be pressure when you're like get away get away you know or clicking a little bit like or anything like that you know like noises that can spook them a little bit 
um, if a horse, I've never been charged by a horse, but like I have only been charged by Savannah when I was leading her into the pasture and he hurt her. So, and Savannah got upset, but she, she got out of control, you know, and she kind of pushed me and I thought I was going to get ran over. But luckily I was smart enough to let go of the rope a lot and it gave her space to turn around and for me to correct the issue. So, let me see, see Karma just pushed pushed him if you didn't see that she pushed his butt and told him to come and he's like okay uh, I gotta stick my head back in here now because you just made me move my head but she just pushed him away so yeah that's why I say that they're dominant and they're all dominant in their own ways okay um another thing I was going to talk about oh yeah okay so if a horse tries to charge you in the pasture there are a lot of aggressive horses in the, well not a lot uh, actually there's not a lot of aggressive horses in the world because horses are prey they're not predators so that's why um, there's not a lot of them, but when there are, and if a horse is trying to do that to you, you like I said, you want to have a defense method. If you don't have anything in your hands, you need to use your body and man up. If you're running away or showing that horse that they are dominant of you, and you don't ever want a horse to ever think that they have something higher over you, because then they'll become more of a threat and more of a danger to you, and you do not want that. They'll think that you are a horse, and that they can boss you around and tell you what to do, and potentially hurt you. So you want to use your arms and you want to stick them out in front of you like if you see my arm you want to stick it out and wave it in front of you and try to scare them look bigger than them put it over your head i do stuff like that um when i'm lunging i use my hands I, as signal and if karma doesn't listen i put more pressure on her and that's how i get her to behave and listen to me and she listens pretty well and i have no idea why they're eating the bark on that tree those little bark eaters you can tell that they ate the entire tree like <laughs> as much as they can reach like it's all eaten off of well that's disgusting so another thing that's going to establish dominancy is lunging like i say i love lunging i think it helps and i never showed you guys the round pin so i'm going to show you really quickly i never got to show it it's right up here and this is a really good way to establish dominancy because you have free form it will feel obligated to submit to you faster than if they were on a lead line in an open space um, and that is the whole point of lunging. Karma's like, hey, where are you going? You didn't take me with you. She's like, gonna walk up here. She's so cute, I love her. She's such a doll. The vet said she was a keeper. The vet just loved her, oh my goodness. The vet was like, she is the sweetest little four-year-old I have ever seen. She's like, she's a keeper, do not sell her. And I was like, I'm not planning on it. She's like, she has beautiful Arab type face. She's so cute. And I was like, thanks. So yeah, I don't know why I said that, but yeah, anyways. This is the round pin and I have not used it because, hi, I have not used it because the little ponies are in here, the miniature horses, and there's this thing in the way, I could kind of go around it, but it's just kind of an irritation, and it's a big round pin, like I could ride in here, it's nice. Hi, boobers, this is little boyfriend, oh, he's just so cute, oh, so cute, hi, precious. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you in a second a demonstration of a dominancy correction. Okay, so Karma's coming up to me. I just came back up in the pasture like literally five seconds later and well, I guess such a good girl. She sees the lead rope. She's like, all right, are you going to take me out and ride me and give me treats? You're a dork. I want him to do something so I can show you what to do. Come on, do something, you dorks. Karma's like, oh, I'm going to sleep since you're not going to take me out. I'm surprised she can still, you can still see her ribs a little bit because We've been feeding her so much. She's just, she doesn't carry weight well. So I'm not starving my horse. Don't ever say that. I mean, look at the other horses. They're all fat. If he tries to get in my face, I'll probably correct him a little bit. He's just being cute right now. Okay, now he's opening his mouth. If you see that. I don't think you can see that. He's just being curious. But if he keeps doing it, stop. Stop. He stopped when I said stop. So, See, voices can be. See, now he's doing it. Stop. <laughs> I blow it on his face. He's very cute, but if he gets a little bit, he's he's walking, he's starting to walk away. Maybe he'll do it again. See, I kind of shook it in his face, just saying stop. He's trying to test me again. No. No. He releases from pressure, but then he puts more pressure on me. When he faces me, that's putting pressure on me. Now he's gonna walk away, and that's very good. Good boy. So that's basically pressure and pressure release. You know, I was putting pressure on him to tell him, you know, you need to back up a little bit. You're getting in my space. And he was like, okay, I guess so after like five times. But yeah, so that's, you know, pressure and pressure release. I hope that helps. Karma's now chilling in the barn. All right, bye guys.